Hi everyone, welcome to Bad Fashion's YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing us how to make a pencil skirt with tail using a lace fabric and maintaining the lace edge at the back where we have the tail as well as the front. So without wasting much of our time, let's get right into the video. I'm going to be drafting on my lining fabric. This is my doll face satin. So I'm going to fold my fabric. I'll be drafting the front first. So to determine the amount of fabric to fold, I'll be using the biggest circumference to determine the amount of fabric. And here, the biggest circumference I'm working with is the hip measurement. The hip divided by four, that's 10 inches, plus two inches, that's 12 inches. Two inches is for my sewing allowance. So I'm going to fold over 12 inches and show us the next thing to do. I've placed my fabric on fold, as you can see. So, and I have a width of 12 inches. So you see. So the next thing now to do, I'm going to draw my starting line. So this is the waistline. So now, this is what I need us to understand. This skirt I'm making will be attached to a bustier. So it's going to have a bustier at the upper part. So meaning that it's a gown I'm making, okay? But this method is also applicable if you want to make it as a skirt. So this is very simple. Because I'm going to attach it to a bustier, all my measurements will start from minus the half length of my client. So since we have a boost here at the upper part and we already have a half length, so my measurements will be starting from minus the half length. So I'll get the full length of my client. But if you are making it as a skirt, meaning that your measurements will start from one inch, which is going to be from the waistline to the hem. So because this is a gown, I'm starting my measurement from minus the half length of my client. So the half length of my client is 16 inches. So I'm going to be placing my tape on minus 15.5 because half inch will be for joining the skirt part and the bustier together. I hope that is clear. So I'll be taking my measurement from minus 15. So from minus 15.5, I beg your pardon. So from minus 15.5, I'm going to mark the hip line of my client. And from shoulder to hip for her, is 24.5 inches. Next is shoulder to knee line. So shoulder to knee line is 38 inches. Shoulder to full length is 60 inches. So I'm going to stop my measurements at this point. I won't be adding hemming allowance. Remember that this is my lining and I'm using a lace fabric for this project so i want the scallop part of the lace to end it so this is 60 inches here the lace fabric is going to be about 62 inches so that the lace is longer than the satin i hope that is clear so having done that so i'm just going to like straighten out my lines like this the thing we'll be doing is to enter our measurement so on the waistline, I'm going to enter quarter of the waist measurement. Quarter of the waist measurement is 7 inches plus 2 inches for my side seam allowance. I'm not adding that to this skirt. I'm making this skirt dartless. So hip measurement is 10 inches plus 2 inches. That's 12 inches. So whatever you have here on the hip line determines what you have on the knee line. So here I have 12 inches here. I'm going to subtract 2 inches from it and enter it on the knee line. So I'm going to mark 10 inches at this point. And then I'll also repeat the same thing on the hem line here. So I'm going to mark the same 10 inches here. So I haven't done that, I'm just going to use my straight ruler to connect the points like this. So it's that simple. I have my front piece already. So here on the waistline, I'm going to come down by three quarter of an inch. 
This depends on the size. This person is on the small side. So that's why I'm taking out three quarters of an inch. If you're making this for a bigger person, you can take out one inch at this point. So this is for the waist look, and you don't want to have smile lines around the hip line in front. So I'm just going to curve it to this point. Take note of how I'm placing my curve ruler. Can you see? I connected it and it stopped here at the actual measurement. It didn't get to the side seam allowance. So next I'll bring in my scissors and begin to cut it out. So can you see? So now we have our front piece and this is what it looks like. Can you see that? So I'm going to go ahead and fold it into two and keep this aside. So next I'm going to fold the fabric for the back piece. I'm going ahead to fold my fabric for the back. So you can see this is the fold for the back. And you can see I went ahead to place the front piece over it like this. So this is the center front of the front piece and you can see where the center back is. This is what I intend doing. Here I have an allowance for the tail I'm going to have. So you can see that I have a space of six inches here from the center back. That's the distance from this point to this point is six inches. This is because I want to have a small tail at the back. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to extend the lines. Is to extend the lines. So I'm just going to extend this line. This is the hip line. This is the knee line here. And then this of course is the hem line. And then here is the waist line. So you want to make sure that you put your ruler straight here. You don't want that three quarter inch that you came down in front to reflect at the back. So you can see that it's above the square. That's the waist looper here. So the next thing that I'm going to do is this. I'm going to enter my zip allowance. So here on the hip line, first, I'm going to enter 1.5 inches for my zip allowance. 1.5 inches and then here on the waistline I'm going to enter one inch I entered 1.5 inches here and I'm marking one inch here this is because I'm trying to eliminate zipper bulge you don't want your zipper to bulge at the back so by the time I turn my as I stitch my lace the lace and turn my lining with half inch I'm going to be left with half inch here remember I added just one inch and here I have 1.5. I hope that is clear. So I have one inch here. This is my one inch. And then here I have 1.5. And then here on the knee line, I'm going to mark half inch here on the knee line. Can you see that? So I'll just go ahead and connect my points like this. So can you see that the back is not straight? It's giving that shape that looks like a hip. This is to just tell us that. This is just show that there's a butt at the back. Okay. So now to have the tail effect that I want to have. So remember that I opened up here by six inches. So from this point where I have my six inches, I want the tail to come down by four inches at the back. So meaning that the length of my client, I already said is 60 inches. So I'm just adding four inches to it to make the length 64, okay? So here is my 64 inches. As I'm adding four inches extra to it, so you can see I'm placing my tape from here. This is four inches. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to use my ruler to connect to this point here. So from this half inch I have here on the knee line, I'm going to connect it to this point. So 
I do not have a long ruler here, so that's why I'm using my pattern master. Okay, so can you see how it just extends this way? So now, having extended it to this extra 4 inches I have here, that's the length of 64 inches. So I'm going to cut this point now to match up with this point I have here because the side seams must align. So I'm just going to place my curve ruler like this. So can you see? So you can see that it blended up here at the side and then we just have that small extension here. So it's that simple. So basically every other thing remains the same. Can you see? So as you can see, I have half inch here, I have 1.5 here and I have one inch here so this is just very fine so this opening i have here is enough to give room for movement okay so that's it so that's that for the center back so here now for the side back i'll be adding one inch here at this side because i want to sew a dart i want to sew darts at the back remember i said i want the front to be dartless but for the back i want to have that so you can see i'm adding one inch here so once you add that one inch here, I'm going to just use my straight ruler to connect it like this to the hip line. Can you see? So I'm going to now straighten my line like this. So this is what I have here. Okay. So you can see. So after adding my dart here, you can see that I've connected the point. That's all I need to do here. There's no more alteration. Every other thing remains the same. So I'm just going to go ahead now and cut out. So, so next I'm going to place my lace fabric and cut out what I have here. So as you can see, I folded my lace fabric and this is what I have. So you can see that the hem here have about two inches, which is what I want. So that by the time I hem the down part of my satin, so this lace will be the extension that will end it. So you want the scallop part of the lace to show at the down part. So by the time I'm done hemming this, I'm going to have about three inches there. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead now and cut it out like this. So you can see here now, I've cut out my front piece and this is what it looks like. So you can see that the hem here, I have an extension, my scallop part of the lace will end it. So that's about two inches away from the satin, that's from the length of my doll face. So I'm going to fold this aside, keep this aside and then place to cut the back. So as you can see, I've placed my back piece, I'm going ahead to cut it out again. So this is what I have for my back and see that I cut out exactly what I have here because that's the length of my lace. So now to achieve the scallop part at the tip of the lace here. I'm going to have to cut this scallop part from my lace here. So you can see that I already have one that I cut out from the front waistline. So I'm going to cut it out. And here I have about two inches. Remember that the front lace is longer than the back by two inches. So I'm going to make this three inches because I'll use half inch, half inch to join them together so that by the time I'm done, I will have that extension of two inches. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Because right now, on this part, by the time I stitch half inch here with half inch here and half inch here, so I'm going to lose one inch. So that is why I'm making this three inches. So I'm going to cut out my three inches in length. So here I'm just going to measure the width I have here before I can go ahead and cut it out. So the width I have here is 18 inches. 
So I'm going to confirm what I have here also. So here I have 18 inches. So I'm just going to cut at this point. So you can see that I have three inches in width, so, or in length rather. So this is the lace mouth, that's the scallop part I'm going to be sewing to the hem of the lace. So can you see? I'm going to stitch it this way at the hem of the lace like this. So you see, I will now have the scallop part at the down part. So I'm going to cut the second piece. Right now, we have come to the end of this video. And this is what our skirt looks like after stitching it to the upper bodies I told us to be stitching it to. It came out really beautiful. You can also have a slit in front. This is optional. If you want to have a slit, that would be fine. But for me, you can see there is no slit in front and it came out really beautiful. And then I also went ahead to create this beautiful knotted drip you see in front of the skirt. If you would like to see a video on how to create this knotted drip, just indicate in the comment section. I'm going to upload the video for us to see. And then for the upper bodies, I already created a video and I've posted it already on my channel on how to draft and cut the upper bodies up to the suede part and everything. Just in case you haven't seen that video, I will drop the link in the description box so that you can check it out and learn how to draft and cut this beautiful asymmetric bustier. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you. I hope you have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't done so, please make sure to hit on the subscribe button to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that you get notified once I post a new video. Feel free to drop a comment, ask questions if you have any, and do not hesitate to share these videos. Share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, bye, bye.